on the east side of the land of Eden is the Garden of Eden. A river arises in Eden, flows out through the garden, and then breaks up into four streams as it goes down to the world. Adam and Eve, Adam, to start with, is put in this garden. He's not put up here in the land of Eden, the farthest west uh, where the throne is, where rule is. He is put here where he is told to grow up. Keep his hands off the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The tree of the knowledge, knowledge of good and evil is a phrase that means wisdom. It is identical to the word wisdom in the Solomonic literature, and it means kingly wisdom. By me, kings reign. Because they seized it before their time, they were not patient. The essential virtue that they refused to follow was patience. They were sent out of the sanctuary garden down into what we call, we around here, call the forecourt land. They will be able to come up near to this doorway here and have some kind of contact with God and His angels, but in only varying degrees through a sanctuary. And then when Cain sins and is sent further east, we have the world. And we are told also that there are other lands out here. The land of Havilah, where the gold is. Gold is out here. Trees are in here. The sanctuary land, these, these lands in the Bible are associated with food. These lands are associated with wood and stone, all this stuff down here in Havilah, King Solomon's mines, down in Central Africa. We've all seen the movies. All right? So when, when Solomon wants to get gold and trees and stones to build the temple, he goes to Hiram of Tyre, believing Gentile, faithful man, okay? And they swap food. Solomon provides food, okay? When God gives this land to Israel, he gives them vineyards, olive yards, fields, cumin, mint, vegetable gardens. That's all the way it's described. The land of promise is not described as a land of gold and uh, jewels. It's a land that flows with milk and honey. Prince Jonathan finds honey and might have restored honey to the people. Okay. King Desnant David brings cheese, milk, to the warriors at the battle. Honey and cheese are associated with Jonathan and David. These things run throughout the Bible, bread and wine. And they're right here in this original environment. In the sanctuary, we only read about trees and tree fruit. We're also told that out in the land there's bread. There are grain plants. We never get to them. So there's going to be some grain plants out here in the forecourt land, but it's going to be harder to deal with them. There's a whole history of food here. I'll give it to you free. You start with fruit off of trees. You just pick it and eat it. You come out here, you're cast out here, and in the forecourt land, there's bread plants, 
there's a certain amount of work involved in making bread to eat. Okay? But you can, you can make bread in about five hours. You know, you cut down, you have to have a knife, you cut down the uh, wheat and you beat it up and now you've got some flour and you mix it with water and so at the end of five hours you've got some bread. Okay. It takes much longer to develop wine, and wine is also out here, but it grows on vines close to the ground, not up like trees. It's a little bit different. We didn't start off with, with wine. It's not till we get to Noah that we get any mention of wine, and you can't make wine in five hours. So it's when you get later on in history to kings that you find wine. Kings are associated with wine. Priests with bread. Okay, these are some of the fundamental uh, associations with these spaces. All right? We never get up there to the West. But as history moves along, living out here at a distance from the sanctuary, when God calls Abraham... Abraham gets to come into the sanctuary a little bit with what we call oasis sanctuaries. What are the three components of an oasis sanctuary? Water, trees, altar, mound of earth, okay, high ground. That those three things become the tabernacle when you cut the trees down and plane them and you cover them with gold. All right, you have the water and the labor. It's a well. You meet your wives at wells, right? What is the labor made out of? Bronze. Did you did you say bronze? Mm -hmm. I thought I thought I heard you say bronze. The mirrors of the deaconesses, the women who served at the tabernacle. No, uh, it's, it's, it's not, gold is only inside the tab, getting ahead of the class. But that's encouraging. All right, so remember these four places here. Uh, when the tabernacle's built, there's more sanctuary. When the temple is built, there's more sanctuary. When we get to Ezekiel's temple, which cannot be built, you can put up, we'll talk about how it spreads out over the entire world in the form of synagogues. And then you get to the New Testament, and finally, we push into the throne land with Jesus, and we turn around and look the other way. We were always looking west to the tabernacle, to the temple of God. Now, in the Christian church, we look east.